So what would happen if you consumed just two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil every single day? That's the topic for today. There's a lot of amazing things in olive oil that people have no clue. And there's a couple ways you can take it. I put it on my salad and this is my, I don't know if you can see this right here. This is my olive oil right here. Okay. I use a very specific type because it's the real stuff. I've been to uh, the farm in Italy where they grow these olives. It's called Fattori San Michele Atori. Okay. Uh, but anyway, um, unfortunately, a lot of the olive oil out there is fake. And I had no idea of fake versus real for many, many years and probably uh, until five years ago uh, when I actually tasted real extra virgin olive oil. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Before I was consuming this fake olive oil that was bland, it didn't really have any taste, it didn't have that uh, peppery grass-like taste, and it didn't irritate the back of my throat. Those are just indicators you have the real thing, because unfortunately, they sometimes dilute olive oil with other oils like soy or canola. So they're trying to clean that up right now. But it was quite amazing. When I went to this farm where they created this olive oil, uh, I had a chance to check the soil and check the microbes, which are off the chart. Also, the care involved in making this product was just way over the top. I mean, this goes way beyond just organic. Now, I don't get any kickbacks from this company, but I will say when I find a good product, I definitely will let people know about it. So you can either add it to your salad uh, with uh, balsamic vinaigrette or apple cider vinegar. I put some lemon on my salad. I put sea salt. Or you can just take two tablespoons of this oil every day. It's a pure fat, so it's not going to spike insulin. So let me just go through some of the compounds in olive oil, okay? And I'm not going to give you the long names because every time I do that, I tend to put people to sleep. So I'll just bring it up on the slide and I'll go through the different effects that can be created. So this first phytonutrient has some pretty powerful cardioprotective properties, okay? giving you significant blood pressure lowering effects. You have two different types of blood pressure. You have primary and secondary. Another name for primary is called essential. So essential hypertension. And what's interesting about that is that it doesn't have a cause. They don't know what the cause is. And that's 95% of all the blood pressure problems out there. They don't know what the cause is. Of course, we have all sorts of medications to help you in the meantime until we find a cause. And since we're on the topic of this, you might also want to add vitamin D and more potassium, as well as lowering your sugar, because when you have insulin resistance, you can make the arteries really, really hardened and your blood pressure will go up. But the point is that extra virgin olive oil can help you. They even make this special point, if you're on medication and you're taking olive oil at the same time, uh, your blood pressure could come down too low. I mean, why wouldn't you want something without side effects to lower your blood pressure? I mean, the solution is just to take less medication, right? Some other benefits include anti-cancer. It also protects the hypothalamus and another part of your brain called the substantia nigra, which has everything to do about dopamine. And if you have a problem with that part of your brain, you can end up with Parkinson's. So olive oil protects the brain and has neuroprotective properties. And another really important thing about um, olive oil is it's very anti-inflammatory. There's a lot of things in extra virgin olive oil that help with inflammation and pain. So let's move on to the next uh, phytonutrient. This one, again, gives you anti-inflammatory uh, benefits. It can act as an analgesic to help with pain. It has antimicrobial effects, and also it can help support the beta cell of the pancreas, which has everything to do with helping your blood sugars and um, also with helping lowering insulin because the beta cell makes insulin. All right, in this next compound, there's anti-cancer properties as well as anti-arthritic benefits. And then in these last three phytonutrients, which are uh, sterols, a sterol is a compound that's very similar to cholesterol and also similar to steroids. And so in this first compound, there's benefits with uh, benign prostatic hypertrophy. If you get this enlarged prostate, um, extra virgin olive oil can help you. 
this phytonutrient also helps you balance cholesterol, specifically LDL. And I'm talking about the small dense particles, okay? And then we get another uh, phytonutrient, which is a, another sterol, which is anti-inflammatory, and also it can benefit your LDL. And then there's another sterile, which can also help with your LDL. So there are a lot of different phytonutrients. I just covered only six of them, but there are hundreds of naturally occurring compounds with all sorts of very cool effects. There's also, by the way, a good amount of vitamin E in extra virgin olive oil. So I hope in this video, I convinced you to start using more olive oil on a regular basis. It can really help you. And if you haven't seen this video on olive oil, you definitely want to check it out. I put it up right here.